Heavy Trivia Schmodown. I'm Christian Harlow. Hi, I'm Mark Ellis. Christian, good to be back with you. Yeah. And we have the exciting debuts of two teams here, although some of their team members, teammates, friends have competed here before. Mike the Killer Kalinowski has certainly, we just saw he's competed in the inner geekdom. Mm -hmm. He is now, he's competed in the free for all. He's been in the singles, but he's kind of felt on his own for a little bit. He's a free single geek. Well, enter his companions over at. DC Movie News, and I'm very, I, I, I have sentiment to them too because I put all those guys together. I, I had found Adam Gertler and Roxy and Johnny and Mike, and I put them together, and the fact now that they are here in the Schmodown is a little surreal to me. Yeah, I'm not sure how they're going to be in this match. I'm also not sure, like, what happens if there's, like, a breaking news story in the world of Marvel? Do they talk about it at all? Do they even acknowledge it? I don't know, but I do think there's going to be a lot of, uh, there's going to be a lot of fun to be had. They're very oh, yeah. energetic. But what I will say is they do not have their – they're going to have their work cut out for them today because Eric and Connor from Cinema Blend, I have had the pleasure of knowing Eric for a little while now. He and I, we were on the Ant-Man set together. You talk about oh, a guy – Oh, wow, look at you. Listen, this is a guy – DC Movie News ain't covering that. No, well, they were nowhere to be found. They weren't allowed on the set. But Eric – is a guy, He's like, he reminds me of these guys like Drew McWeeny and William Bibiani. He's very knowledgeable, he knows his stuff. And I think that Eric could really be a force. Connor, I don't know yet. I'm very curious to see what's gonna happen. If he's as good as I think Eric will be, they might be a force here. Well, you know, Connor and I were on the set of Avatar 2 together. Then we died oh, at nice. Morton's Steakhouse. Right. We are best friends since kindergarten. Really solid guy. Well, I'd let you into Morton's with that jacket. <laughs> All right. So we're going to hear a little bit from these guys. As we saw the league form earlier, let's hear them talk and see what's going to happen. Welcome, Schmo. Here we are. We got the DC squad. I'm finally, I got my team with me. Just like Batman needs the league, I got my group with me. Look at everyone here. I'm so happy to see everyone here. The support. I've always been in this mode. I've been in it for a while now, and everyone always shows up with their team. You got the Lions, Dan. You, you got the, the uh, Four Horsemen, everyone. And I'm there by myself, but now I got all of you, and I got this guy right here. You know, I think we've been taking advantage of our movie knowledge for many, many years, personally, privately, oh, and yeah. uh, within oh, yeah. Cinema Lens Bounds. This is our time to really kind of show off what we can really do, though, right? We're stepping into the limelight here. We're getting ready to go. We're feeling spry. We're feeling good. My strengths are his weaknesses. His strengths are my weaknesses. We are a great complement to each other, kind of like Batman, Superman, a great team. You don't really get to build one of the most successful movie websites, most informative movie websites <laughs> online without having the intense knowledge of people like Connor and me. You know, uh, so yeah, not I to think, brag or anything. Yeah, no, but I think we're feeling pretty confident in this. What do I know about Cinema Blend? Absolutely I don't nothing. Know. I, but they're a website. They're a website for sure. Oh. Oh. Well, with that said, they don't stand a chance. Agreed. We're coming for you. We're hoping for a good match. Let's get it on. And uh, to take a quote from They Live, we're here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And while I actually do have another piece of bubblegum still in my pocket, uh, I'm going to chew that right before the show, and then we're going to be ready to kick some ass. Mike and Adam, I'm really proud of you guys. I can't wait to watch you take this all the way. Unite the league. We're ready to go, guys. As you see in their promo, I do like there's a little bit of sass, both playing it on a nice angle here, but there's a little bit of sass from Eric and Connor where they're they're pretty confident they're they like, want to kick some ass. Yeah, everybody's being nice right now, but they're like that kind of nice, like, hey, we'll shake your hand, you're not in our fraternity. That's pretty much how it I mean, look, when you quote they live as your as your ending line and say <laughs> you're gonna kick someone's ass, you're ready to go. So I'm looking forward to this match. I can't wait to see it. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. No tail the tape necessary, right? No, no, not at all. But the what I will tell you before we get going make sure you want to find out everybody always asks about rankings and who's the latest mm -hmm. in the team rankings and the singles rankings well you got a great way to find out every thursday on collider's facebook and it is live the pit boss himself the, ken pit, boss. the pit boss himself ken knapsack has his own show it is inside schmodown he's got a lot of inside information going on in there check it out every 2 p.m and now I'm ready to go. All right, let's meet the competitors in today's matchup thanks to the golden throat of this young man who got to be on the set of Ant-Man. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. <laughs> Introducing first. Making their right. schmodown debut, Eric. Ed Connor, Team Cinema Blend! They're ready. Eric and Connor. I like it. I like, I like the energy. They're ready 
to go. Together, they're coming as a team. They look like a team that's been together for a bit. That's right. What a uh, handsome young Buck Connor is. You yeah. know, I really yeah. like the Connor. You uh, know, Eric, I, I I don't know the guy from Adam, but yeah. Connor, he's just a good guy through and through. Just jealousy it's wasn't on the he, was, he just wasn't on the Ant Man set, Eric. That's all. <laughs> no. It's it, jealousy. I get it. It's cool. <laughs> what does Paul Rudd smell like? I don't know. Like lilacs, man. <laughs> oh, that's what I want. <laughs> and their opponents. Oh, it's Clasto, Johnny Lacosto oh, from, no, from the you know, my, By the way, Mark, I, oh, you're wearing your barefoot on a lawn chair shirt. That's Good awesome. Good to see you um, as well. By the way, I, I love doing the Dick Nixons. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. Uh, it's a big day, all right? I need to introduce first, before the team comes out, the X Factor, all right? The X Factor, she is the crown jewel of the DC Movie News Show, okay? Show. She is as Gal dazzling Gal as Diana Prince. She's as provocative as Poison Ivy. She's as seductively hot as Harley. Oh, She's the bombshell from B-Town, Roxy Stryer. Oh, I like Roxy Stryer. Oh, okay. Roxy Fryer is here. Roxy is here. It is the manager of yes. the league. That's where she shows up. By. It's the biggest words I've ever said. All right, so this well, is I'm very happy to be here. Thanks for the introduction. Roxy, you realize how big this is. They created the show two and a half years ago. They gave us the rights to the ship to build the show, to give something people they, they could be proud of. And yet we've never been on the Schmode out of two and a half years. We've never been invited yeah. ever okay, on the okay, uh, No, this is a time where we say thank you guys so much for allowing us to be here. Yeah, right, right. We really appreciate it. Remember, You're we're the good guys. Wonder, Positive DC. Positive DC. Exactly. But really, humbly, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Yep, no more bad Rotten Tomatoes scores now. It, it, it's one movie. Let's bring out the team. All so, right, let's do it, Johnny. You want movie knowledge? This man is the host of FX Movie Download on FX. He's got Batman underwear. He's got Batarangs as cufflinks. And his nether region is nicknamed Gotham City because it's worth fighting for. Oh, he is the worst mocker that'll put you in the Hurt Locker, Adam Gertler! Oh, oh look, at <laughs> look at Gertler showing hey. up. German vibe. Yeah, I like that one. He's a sausage. He's a sausage. Guten Tag. Dang, it's Abe Froman. Right? He's right. the silent assassin, apparently. Yeah, I smell some sausage. Yes, yeah. In a while, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Yeah. Well, next, is and last but, but not threat? least, you know him as an incredibly talented actor on television and on the DC Movie News Show. He's the man with the squeaky leather jacket given to him by Steve Trevor himself. But nothing he loves more than spreading the Yuletide cheer as he ho ho hoes his way past Cinema Blend today. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike the Killer Kalinowski! Oh, there he is! Yeah. The Killer comes out! with this crew well, here, too. We're yes. confident with our team wow. right now. Yeah. Our this DC movie news team. Yeah, good. Uh, look, that, go, was, um, that was something. What I, what I will say, I can read Eric's thoughts, and he's like, my God, I want to beat these guys even more now. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, so. I mean, a, an interesting strategy early by DC movie news, putting Cinema Blend to sleep in hopes that they might <laughs> not wake up in time to compete in the match. Very elaborate, and I like it. it was a, that, is, that is a way to make an entrance in the Schroeder. Yeah, and the best part about that intro only took one take. Phenomenal job by true. DC movie Movie news. Very true. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to start the match here. Let's start off with the rules, Mark. Tell them the rules of round number one. Gentlemen, the rules in round one are simple. The field will receive eight questions from eight different movie categories. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question, and obviously, there is no stealing. Once we ask you the question, please write down your answer on the whiteboard in front of you. And when we ask you to reveal your answer, please verbalize it into the microphone. At the same time, you turn around your whiteboard and show the cameras at large. Connor, are you ready? I believe I am. That's all I care about. All right. Uh, team, <laughs> team Cineblend, you guys are ready. Team yeah. DC, are you ready? Let's do it. Then let's get ready to Schmoda. <laughs> Three rounds in the team division. All right. Here we go. I like the crowd. The crowd is ready to go here. Yes. All right. Question number one in the category of horror thriller. Who played Ichabod Crane in Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow? Who played Ichabod Crane? Yeah, he uh, is one of the weirder first names I've ever heard in my life. Ichabod. You know anybody named Not. I, I don't. I wish I would. I feel like Three, you would. Two, one. Pens down, please. And Adam Gertler. I believe it was walking. That is incorrect. What? The answer is Mr. Johnny Depp. That's correct. What? That is Johnny Depp. That is correct. Johnny Depp. That is correct. So mm. Cinema Blend jumping out here two to one. Bit of jet lag from Adam Gertler. Yeah, However, Gert see if he can rebound with animated movies. In the world of animation, what comedian voiced Horton the Elephant in 2008's Horton Hears a Who? Who? So if you knew somebody named Ichabod, yeah. would you call him Icky? Bod. 
No, that'd be weird, right? That yeah, really yeah, like. yeah. It's depending on what your relationship is. I'm confident. Is. I like Icky. Three. Icky, was... Icky Woods? Icky Woods. The Icky Shuffle. Sure. I'm a good old Ix. Yeah. Three, two, one. Pens down, please. Eric. Uh, Steve Carell? It's incorrect. Um, Mike. Steve Carell. Incorrect. Oh, um, oh, I was sorry, Connor. I had no idea. I said Kevin Hart. All right, and Adam. It was Aziz Thank Ansari. You. That was also incorrect. Uh, looking for Jim Carrey. Damn, that was my second choice. Jim Damn. Carrey. I got Grinch confused. I was like, ah, yeah. Screw All me four up. gentlemen talking was... out of their ass on that one, Christian. Back to you. All right. Good yeah. Category number three in the category of dramas. What 2000s film starred Michael Douglas, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Benicio Del Toro? You excited about that new Star Wars movie coming out, The Last Jedi? Is that a film? Los Jedi's Ultimos. Yeah, see, everyone was wrong about that Los thing, weren't they? I don't know if they were. You yeah. haven't seen the movie. Well, Ryan Have Johnson. You seen, were you on set? But I, I believe Ryan Johnson when he says it's not Los. Three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Mike Kalinowski. Ah, uh, crash. That's incorrect. <laughs> Connor. I know. Nothing. Big nada. All right, Adam. Drugs. Incorrect, <laughs> Eric. close, though, because yeah. the answer is Steven Soderbergh's traffic. That's correct. There you go. <laughs> Kalinowski had crashed, which involves uh, cars. All right, your next category is the world of comic book movies. Which set was Christian Harloff <laughs> on for? <laughs> I know that. Excuse yeah. me. Not you, Eric. What is the name of Tony Stark's personal assistant and possible love interest in Iron Man? Man of Iron? Now nah, it's called Iron Man. You I hear the groans they, from the crowd? The right Sorry, no DC question. Yeah. This, this crowd, one of the more testy yeah, crowds. Yeah, five. I almost put something that was way wrong. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. Connor? Pepper Potts? Correct for one point. Adam? Pepper Potts. Correct. Eric? Pepper Potts. Correct. Mike? Pepper Potts. All right, they all I get that one. Hogan. Five, three now. <laughs> five, three. He's the cake. Well, with the love interest, I could see it. Yeah. Kind of that yeah, way. Exactly. All right, no. next, <laughs> next <laughs> question. In the category of action comedy. Oh, a new category! Action comedy. In what funny flick does Arnold Schwarzenegger have a pet ferret? In what funny flick does Arnold Schwarzenegger have a pet ferret? Is that why you took the odd question so you could do that impression? Did you see it ahead of time? I did and not. You're like, I'm I wish. Do the Arnold. No, you did. You set me up for that. Did you know Ken Napslag loves ferrets? Is that true? Yeah. He can shut up about yeah. him on the council a couple weeks ago. Five, four, three, two, one. Gertler. Jingle all the way. Incorrect. Eric. Same. Incorrect, Kalinowski. Last action hero. Incorrect. <laughs> Kindergarten cop. Correct for one point. There you go, Connor. Cinema nice Blind goes up now 6-3. Six, 6-3. Three. <laughs> six, three. DC in a little bit of a hole here, a three-point hole. Right. All right, here we go. Next, next question. question. Uh, in the world of fantasy science fiction, what actress plays Barbara Maitland in the Tim Burton classic Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice. They said it's Who writes a script and is like, we got Schwarzenegger. He's in a comedy. We need a funny pet. Reitman. Who is like, you know what? A ferret is going to put this over Did the it edge. work? Three. I've never seen the movie, to be um, honest with you. Two. One pens yeah. down, please. Eric. Uh, Catherine O'Hara? That's incorrect. Kalinowski. I got nothing. Uh, Connor. Was it Gina Davis? That's correct for one point. Yes. And Gertler. Also Catherine O'Hara. All right, so look at that. So Connor hit the last two here. Right, seven to three sir. as we get into our next category of comedies. Uh-oh. Comedies. Oh. Which film stars Woody Harrelson as a bowler that loses his hand in an accident? You know I love Connor, but he did spell Gina Davis wrong. I, 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 I <laughs> didn't think I had the time, yeah, okay? Yeah. Well, if JTE was here. <laughs> he didn't pronounce the name right. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Mike Kalinowski. Kingpin. Correct. Connor. Kingpin. Correct. Gertler. Kingpin. Correct. And Kingpin. Kingpin all around the board. All right. All right. So nine to five. Nine to five here. So DC really needs a <laughs> they're down by four as we get into the final question in movie taglines. Movie taglines, gentlemen. Your question is thus. What Tom Cruise movie had the tagline, when he pours, he reigns? Man. All right, look at that slamming it down. Okay, a lot of a lot of uh, whiteboard slamming in yeah, there. Start with okay, and that two one. Okay, pens down. Got to put your pens down. All right, what'd you get here, Connor? Cocktail. That's correct. Gertler. Cocktail. Correct. Magnolia. Incorrect and cocktail. Correct. All right. Yeah, so right. pick up a point there. Ten. Magnolia seven. has the flipped version of that. I almost put, put Rain, Rain Man like an idiot. Like it'd so. be that obvious. <laughs> Ten seven. So all right. So Cinema Blend has a three-point lead as we now get to round number two. Mark, how does round number two work? 
In round number two, the Outlaw shouts something inaudible from the crowd. And then each team is going to get a series of six questions. Now we choose that category based on your spin of the magic wheel, which can bless or curse you. If you don't like the category you spin, you are awarded one mulligan per team, and you can spin again whatever category it lands on. You must answer those six questions. Each question is worth two points. However, if you're not sure what the answer is, you can check to multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one point. There's no penalty for missing an answer, but keep in mind, there is stealing in round two, and you are allowed to consult with your teammate for each and every question. All right, Cineblend, you guys are up by three points. You can choose to either go first or second. What do you choose? All right, second, so right? DC Movie News, you guys you are up. All right. Give it a good spin, Mike. I think Gertler is more dressed as a spinner. Yeah. Here it comes. Get a yodel in the middle of it. We should point out the comic book movies. <laughs> comic is book on movie is on there. That was a big spin. That's a spin. That's a spin that keeps on spin. going. Wow. That is a right spin. You get points for longest spin. <laughs> <laughs> Just point out. Is it Charlie uh -oh. Sheen? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. And famous oh, actors, actors and actresses. And actresses. Do you want to spin again or keep it? <laughs> They are perplexed. Now the crowd they, exhorts them but on. The, but they chose a pin, opponents and spinner's choice. Do they want to? What do they do? Okay, do We're going to stick with it. We're going to stick with it. All right, here Christian we go. will be administering the questions. Keep in mind, these are actors and actresses of some repute in the business of cinema. All right, here we go for your first question. Which actor has lost the most times after being nominated for an Academy Award? Susan Lucci? I think that's daytime Emmy. <laughs> Five, four. We're gonna go multiple choice. All right. Say. Is it A. Albert Finney, B. John Voight, C. Peter O'Toole, D. Richard Burton? Five, four, three. We'll go Richard Burton. It's incorrect. You steal. Uh, the answer is C. That's correct, Peter O'Toole for one point. Cinema Blend stealing that point. DC can't afford any more steals in round two, Christian. No, they can't. All right, here you go, guys. Question two. Which actor played identical twins in David Cronenberg's Dead Ringers? A gas. Falls gas over in the crowd. Because they haven't heard about Dead Ringers in quite a while. You ever seen Dead Ringers? Did not know it was Jeremy movie. Irons. Correct. Oh, two points. Yeah. Big pull. Big pull there Good by player. Adam Gerber. There we go. All right, question number three. Which famous actress changed her name from Norma Jean Morton's? Marilyn Monroe. Two more points Goodbye, there. Goodbye, Norma Jean. All right. Which, you which all? actress stars in the following films? Foul Play, Wildcats, and Death Becomes Her. Goldie Hawn. For two more points, DC starting to make a little bit of a move here. Hey, Christian, they just snatched two points. Right. Which actor has appeared in all following three franchises? Did you say, I'm sorry, did you say actor? Which actor has appeared in all following three franchises? James Bond, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars. Christopher Lee. For two more points. They are on a roll They're on now. a roll right now. <laughs> that first steal, 15-11. Wow. And your <laughs> final. James Bond, baby, James, James Bond. Your <laughs> final question, your final question in this round. Who played Amber Waves in director Paul Thomas Anderson's breakout hit, Boogie Nights? Miss Julianne Moore. For two more points, wow. and DC wow. looks really tough there. Looked like they were going to have a rough round, but it's, they stuck with it and is now a six-point lead as it's Cinema, Cinema Blend's time to spin the wheel. Here's the spin. Big spin. First spin on the wheel. Here it comes, Christian. Charlie Sheen is on the wheel. Animated. Do you animated want to, do you want to oh, stick with animated, so or do you want to spin again? It is a risk. It's a with risk. Opponent's choice. And the fact that they're the looking for comic book movies. We're gonna spin again. They're gonna spin going again. again. Is going it gonna again. pay off, or is it gonna hurt them? Yeah, spin that time. Look at DC Movie News, hoping for that opponent's choice, hoping for it. Action, action adventure. adventure. Action, action adventure. Better about that. That's good. Yeah. All right. All right. Will this play into their we'll hands? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We're about to find out. So. Cinema Blend. Yep. Your first question in the world of action adventure movies. In what Stallone action film does he utter the line, you're the disease and I'm the cure? Cheez Its. Wow. Five. Four. 
Three. Uh, Demolition Man. It's incorrect. The correct answer is Cobra. For two more oh, points. Yeah. DC scoring two good. points there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That was a big steal. Guy. DC Cabretti. completely spun this on the other side. Cinema Blend needing to remember they can check to multiple choice oh. if need be. Your next oh question, Pressure. who played Guinevere in 1995's First Night? Multiple choice. Is it A, Vanessa Redgrave, B, Joan Allen, C, Phoebe Cates, or D, Julia Ormond? Phoebe Cates. Incorrect. <laughs> DC Movie News? D, Julia Ormond. One, One more, more point. point. Wow, unbelievable. DC is now positioning himself to potentially knock out Cinema Blend. This is unbelievable. You know, I was working on my Cinema Blend getting the knockout jokes, and now it looks it's like it might be on time. the other we'll ledger. We'll see. <laughs> Your next question in the world of action adventure Cinema this Blend. What is Jason Statham's character's first name in the transporter? Frank. Well, they knew there that you one. go. Two points <laughs> there. Two points for Cinema Blind. Two points, not not three. There you go. Two much just, come needed on, man, just points. Do it. <laughs> Two points for Cinema Blind. It is now 2013 as we get into question number four. Your next question, Connor, another guy. <laughs> Nukem is the name of the fictional board game advertised in what 1987 action play? Multiple choice. Is it A, Robocop, B, Die Hard, C, The Running Man, or D, Cobra? Five. Robocop. One more point. Nice. For one point. That was one big. One more <laughs> point. All right. All right, your next question. In Jurassic Park. There we go. <laughs> when Alan Grant is talking about the Velociraptor, the little boy at the beginning of the film compares the dinosaur to a six foot what? Turkey. Huge! Two <laughs> points. Huge two, that was two really points. big. Really big there. What a match ah, this has become. I feel like Red Fox. I can't take it, Christian, <laughs> but I have to give them one more question, and that query is, what singer made her acting debut in 2012's Battleship? Rihanna. Two more, points. Two more They're right points. back in it. What a match here. Uh, 2018, uh, DC had a big comeback, and Cinema Blend, who was on the ropes, fought back to now make it a two point lead here by DC. First uh, round, oh Cinema Blend up. <laughs> Second round, DC. Now we're getting into round number three. Mark, how does it work? I feel like we fell in love in a hopeless place. Is that Rihanna? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. In round three, your rules are as such. Each team is going to give us a series of numbers ranging from 1 to 20. Those numbers correspond to a movie category up here. The first question is worth two points. The second question is worth three points. The last question, should we get that far, is worth five points. Because it is a, the team league, once you hear what the category is, the teams have to choose which competitor is going to answer that question. So you cannot collaborate with your teammate on the first or second question. You are allowed to lock your heads together and come up with your best answer for the five point. I might actually do it. All right, here we go. So let's get DC. You guys are in the lead. So three numbers from one to 20. Three, five, and 11. Three, Good five, news. 11. All odds he didn't even look at Didn't even look. Him. All right. Cinema, didn't even look at it. Cinema blend. We'll go one, seven, 18. One, seven, and 18. All, All right. right. All right, so Cinema Blend, you guys are up first here. You chose category one. That is in the category of directors. Who would like to take the two-pointer? I'll take it. Eric's going to take it. Who directed the Oceans trilogy? That would be Steven Soderbergh. For two points and tying the game here. We are it, it is now, now 2020. 2020. Now we, we jump back to DC, who's get, who gets their, their two-pointer. Your two-point question, DC Movie News is in the world of comedy. I'll take it. Adam Gertler is gonna take it. Your question is this. What NFL team's mascot was Ace Ventura hired to find an Ace Ventura pet detective? Uh, what team? What NFL team's mascot? We can have the team or the mascot. The Dolphins. There you go. Adam Gertler. Two points, Gertler. We jump back now to Cinema Blend who chose category number seven, and this is Connor for Family Films. Okay. Family Films. All right. Ed O'Neill and Rick Moranis are football coaches at odds in what 1990s movie? Oh. 
The crowd sounds like they have to take a Honey, dump. Honey, I the kids. Oh. Uh, it's incorrect. Looking for Little Giants. <laughs> little Giants. All oh, right. That so it, it comes down to this. Now, Cinema Blend can they? Cinema Blend can confer on this question. It is their five pointer. It is category 18. You guys chose 90s movies. Mm. 90s movies. All right. Which actress played Mother Superior in Sister Act? Maggie Smith. That's correct for five oh. points. Did you see what happened there? <laughs> He's found it. He Literally, found it in his brain. Eric, who I'm now referred to by name, leaned in <laughs> as, Finally. as if to, to give the facade of consulting with Connor before <laughs> Connor could even get a synapse yeah. through. Eric remembered that his favorite actress is Maggie Smith from his favorite nice movie, well Sister Act, and sir. launched that right. answer. So DC Movies now, wow. DC Movie News is in a predicament. If the, if Mike Kalinowski hits his three-pointer. Doesn't matter. It's tied. Well, yeah, it It's tied, and it means that a potential sudden death, and they, or they get a chance to win it with their five-pointer. But Mike's got to hit the three, or they're going to be forced to hit the five. So let's go, Mark. What's the question? <laughs> Mike Kalinowski, <laughs> representing DC Movie News. Your category for your three-point question, which you will be answering solo without the help of your German buddy, is comic book movies. Comic book movies. It's my best been moment. Your question. Jim Carrey from Horton Hears a Who mm -hmm. have starred, has starred in two superhero movies. Name the two movies. Actually, it'll be three, but I'll give you two. It is Batman Forever is the Riddler and Kick-Ass 2, but he was also in The Mask, which is a comic book movie. You're damn right! That's he was. right! Look at that! Look at bonus that! Bonus one, which means we get a bonus point. He just That's told, it. He just told that Chris Galiska to true? go fuck himself. Oh, he didn't. No, he didn't do that. Oh. He didn't do that. He didn't. He we're, didn't. We're cutting that out. Oh, okay. No, no, no we're cutting that no, out. No, we're not. Nah, it's All right, so here we go. We come down to this. It is now. Well, that, we, we are at this moment. Right now, it's definitely tied up. So we could go to sudden death, or DC Movie News can win the game should they hit their five-pointer, which mark is what? <sighs> Your question. You guys picked number 11. That corresponds up here at my desk. It's in the category of movie quotes. And your question. Complete the phrase from the 1948 classic the treasure of the Sierra Madre. Your phrase is this. Badges, we don't need. We don't need no stinking badges. And your winners! Oh, nice guys, oh, sorry, sorry. DC oh, Movies! Oh, 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 oh. Adam and Mike do it! Yeah. What a battle that was! I what a battle that was! Oh, DC won, but Cinema Blend put up a hell of a fight Cinema there. Blend, my hat's off what to both those guys. What a fight that was. Oh, my God. Oh, All right, so now the question is, Cinema Blend obviously coming back. We know that they DC did Movie News, what are they going to do? And we're going to yeah. find out. Emma Fife has both teams right now. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Emma Fife here with all of Team DC Movie News, both our competitors, Adam and Mike, as well as Johnny and Roxy. What a victory today, you guys. Uh, that it was a match. That those guys were phenomenal. Yeah. I, I was sweating there, but it's it's a testament to this game. You we had a we had a kind of a weak first round, uh, but second round we cleaned up. They had a great second round and it came down to the 25 to 25. I was gonna say I was getting a little nervous for you guys in round one. Yeah, there yeah. it got off to a little bit of a shaky start. You know it's, it's tough to say, but you know it, it's it was Adam's first time in there and it's it, my first time when I was in. It's the lights and you're there. It's a nerve wracking. You got to get used to it. But we found our groove, like any good team, just like DC. A rocky start, but we're knocking it out now. I never doubted you guys for a single second. I don't think there was a single moment where I was questioning whether you guys would win. You were excellent the entire time. That's what happens when you stay the course, and you're the good guys. Now, Johnny, do you agree with Roxy that you never had any doubts for your team? I couldn't agree more. You know, all the Kaleidomaniacs out there, you now have someone to believe in. You now have a family, and that is the DC Movie News squad. Trust us when we say the league has been. Now, Adam, this was your very first time competing in the Schmodown. How are you feeling? 
nervous, nervous at first. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. But then after you pulled out that Jeremy Irons answer, I mean oh. that that was a that was a big Gold. moment. That was a big moment Gold. for you. And Adam agrees with us all with the big thumbs up. I think that was definitely the moment that the game turned around, and we saw that we really do have our very own little Justice League here in the movie trivia yeah, showdown. <laughs> so what's next for you guys, Mike? This is finally, finally the oh. victory you've been wanting is yours. I well, I would love to see a Marvel team up here, but I think they're too afraid to challenge us. I, I'm just saying, I thought there was supposed to be a Marvel at one point, but uh, who knows? But I just want to, this is the team, we, you know, Adam and my strengths, we complement each other. We've got a great support staff here. We're ready to go. We're going for the team championship, man. Lee, go on, let's go for it. I want it. Well, I have no Come doubt on. that you guys are going to continue to do very well here in the Schmodown. Adam, are you feeling as confident as Mike moving forward? Okay, I will take that as a yes. Uh, Roxy, how are you feeling about the future of Team DC Movie News? I feel like we have to start taking out some of the bad guys here, and there are a couple, actually one in particular, that I think really could use an attitude check. I, I happen to know somebody very well, and I don't like the way that he's acting on the show very much. Someone oh. Someone with, with my rocks? With I, all Wonder Woman? It's not with me, it's with you guys at home and I feel like we have to fight for you guys because I think you're getting taken advantage of and it's not right. Who is it that you're trying to take down? I'm just gonna let it sit there because I'm the good guy and I am above that. So we'll see what Christian decides to do here next. All right, I like it. Keeping it classy, Roxy Stryer. Well, Thank you. congratulations again, DC Movie News. Uh, we expect great things from you here in the future team matches of the Movie Trivia Showdown. We will be right back with Team Cinema Blend. And we are back with Connor and Eric, Team Cinema Blend. Just didn't quite win today. Just barely, just you know, it came it. down to the last question, though. So it was a photo finish. It really, it really was. How did you guys feel out there? This was your first time competing in the Schmodown. I, we definitely would have liked to win. Uh, that being said, I have watched many, many episodes of the show. I know how many people get like total knockout and don't even get to the last round. So uh, yeah, I think we can be pretty happy with how Just we performed. Exactly. Did you guys find it surprising actually being up there, being under the lights and having that pressure? Do you think that affected your game? Oh, definitely. Yeah, you, you blanked out. You forgot the rules. It, you know. We'll get a better sense next time. Exactly. And I will be studying Stallone movies oh, yeah. between now His and then. His filmography sure. is mine. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, as I say, you guys did incredibly well. I kind of thought in round one you guys might take it. You you had a pretty decent lead there yeah. in round one. Oh, I was I was excited. Kindergarten cop. That was my moment. I was like, <laughs> doing this for you, mom. <laughs> did you feel that maybe because you were a little ahead in round one, you might have gotten like a little overconfident maybe in round a little two? Confident, I definitely got cocky. Eric yeah. pulled up. Yeah, he, he pulled up the slack at the end. I, I got uh, cocky in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Well, obviously you had an incredibly high score. I mean, what did it come down to? Twenty to twenty-five. Right. It was that last five-point question that got DC Movie News the win. Yeah. So yeah. you guys are clearly not done here no. in the Schmodown. We'll definitely be back oh, for yeah. sure. <laughs> As people who are very familiar with the movie Trivia Schmodown, do you have any particular teams that you'd like to take on in the future? You know, I'm a good friend of Clark Wolf, so I'd love to see Wolves of Steel oh. kind of come up and uh, do their thing. Wolves of Steel, that's a that's a pretty tall order. They're one of the top teams in the league. Absolutely. What about you? I will take any and all comers any day, any week. <laughs> all right, well, uh, we certainly look forward to uh, seeing you guys take on any people who come <laughs> forth at you in the future. Now back to you, Christian and Mark. So look at that. You have DC Movie News very excited, very happy. They said they were forming this league, and they're calling out other people, too. Roxy took a slight shot at team action, which was interesting. Yeah, going a little uh, suicide squad there. That's a DC movie. Oh, I like that. I like that. And Cinema Blend, obviously, you, you listen to them, and they and they they knew it was a good game. They want to play again. Solid dudes, They're looking yeah. to come back. So I'm excited to see both of these teams. It was a lot of fun. All right, so guys, now it's up to you. Comment, like, do the whole deal here. This is how you get more teams like this. And by the way, who do you want to see these teams play next? Who should they play? And speaking of big matches, on July 4th, the team title match Ooh, between the reigning champions, the Patriots, Boo. defending their titles against the former champions, Team Top 10. Yay. And then right after that, July 7th, Collider Collision, the big event. You've got four big matches happening. Make sure you check it out with a triple threat match leading it all between Roca, Riley, and Merle on the 7th. July 7th, it all goes down. It's also my birthday. Make sure you guys check out the Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook fan page and the Schmodown Rundown on iTunes. That is Christian Harloff. I am Mark Ellis. You want to throw it to the wild man or say screw it? I like the wild man. I want to hear what him and that goofy little Cody are going to do next. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Josh McGuga here with the girl wonder, the wonder 
boyish girl, the Wonder Woman, Cody. All right, stop spinning. You're good. Just, just, just you know, no, let's calm down. He's here. You know what? Nope, you're good. You're good. He's good. All right, movie trainers, photo fans. Josh McCougar here with your fantasy update. Huge team scores. Huge team match. Cinema blend. Putting on 25 points. DC Movie News putting up 30 points. Listen, if you have teams like Night Sisters or perhaps uh, Team Action or if you have Six Degrees or you have... Uh, uh, what's it called? What's their names? You know the guys. The guys, you know you know who I'm talking about. If you have teams that are scoring mid-level points and aren't seeing matches soon, if you have Rotten Tomatoes, hold on to them. If you have IGN, hold on to them. But if you're looking to trade up for a team or drop a team and pick a team up, or maybe you want to pick up both DC Movie News and Cinema Blend, pick them both up. They will score points, and they are new lovebirds in this league. Yes, I call them lovebirds. They are people that people love and love to fly with. You see what I'm saying? I'm Josh McCougar. That's the movie trivia showdown fan. Wonder Woman, you okay? You okay? All right, he's fine. Ah! I got no! Come, sir! Cody! Ah! Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.